a new, much better, and fucking free gallery program was discovered. That gallery HD program can suck my balls. Oh, what? You going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of 4x4 Belgian Quad by the Stack Brewing Company. Yep, Belgian Quad. Kind of scared of the Belgian beer. And this is 10.5% alcohol. So, mildly scared of that as well. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Let's crack her open. Expecting the yeasty scariness. Okay, that's actually darker than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. Some head on there. A little bit of head. Come on. Head it up. No? Okay. Fine. It it refused to give me head. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world for those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. She's a little on the dark side. Oh, yes. Kind of. Laser beams in the beer or something that's actually funny. It doesn't. It actually smells kind of sweet, if anything. I'm not really getting any kind of yeasty aromas, which makes me kind of happy. Let's give her a shot. Oh, it's not terrible, but it, you can, you can tell it's a stronger beer. Really not a lot of that yeasty flavor in there though. It's just kind of really different and it might be one of those beers that's a little too complex for my palate maybe at this point. Oh, bedtime after this baby. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Oh. It's okay. It's just... It's a little stronger. A little bit more left in here, too. Yay. Maybe should have done the swishy thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to... Uh, not seeing a whole lot of sediment left in there. I do like the whole 4x4 because it's the Belgian quad. That's that's witty. I can't deny that. But that that there's a potent beer. She's powerful. She's strong. Not for the faint of heart. I wanna say I'm getting like notes of chocolate in there or something. A little bit. I'm not sure though. It's dangerous. Today being March 9th, on this date in 19, 19, blah, 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 1959, the Barbie doll. Are you serious? Am I not all tapped to it? There you go. Let's try it now. Hey, it works. The Barbie doll made her debut at the American International Toy Fair in New York. And the beginning of self-image issues for a whole bunch of young girls began, I guess. I don't know. So unrealistic, that doll. Really unrealistic. And there, there's actually a couple people out there that like have gotten plastic surgery to try to be more like Barbie. Because they're crazy people. You guys a stack brewery. You're crazy people. I'm gonna think about it. I forgot about that too. I got that all good to go, don't I? Really good website you guys have here. I believe it's just stackbrewing.ca, right? Or I'll call. .ca. Stackbrewing.ca. Check them out. They've got, what is it? Seven beers that are generally always available. So, you know, pretty good. And then they've got 
Stuff like this that's obviously seasonal, because it's not listed anywhere here that I can see. But yeah, check them out. I've been there a couple times. It's not bad at all. It's a little bit of a smaller setup, I want to say. But the, the store is quite nice, and it's, it's a decent place. Ugh. <laughs> I don't, like, dislike it. It's just, it's different, and it's powerful. And it's something that, I don't know, I should, I should have shared this can with a friend for the vlog. 4x4 is not your average quad. It's strong and complex, bold and daring. This quad is mahogany in color with pleasant Belgian ester notes, including figs, plums, dates, and toffee. It is slightly sweet on the palate with a dry finish. Enjoy this brew after a day of ripping down trails and making rooster tails. Ah, we Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. And L2716. I believe that's November 27th of 16, so a little bit of the little, little couple months on it, but that being that strong and stuff, I need to blow my nose. I'm sorry. This is not cool at all. Sorry about that. It randomly has like a little bit of a runny nose going on there. I didn't, I, I didn't want to be like, I'm not going to do it. I didn't want to, you know, snort it all on, you know, it'd be gross. I didn't want to be gross on camera. On this date, 1961, Sputnik 9, seen here, I believe, I believe that's a replica on display. And then this is actually just a, somebody drew it. But yeah, it launched successfully carrying a human decoy named dummy, I guess, not decoy, named Ivan Ivanovich. And that, that he's actually still around. He's on display somewhere in Russia, I believe. Uh, and it demonstrated that Russia, was, that Soviet Union, was ready to begin human spaceflight. Pretty cool. They actually ejected him just before the spacecraft landed to test out the uh, ejection seat, and it worked out. <sighs> kind of funny. Poor, poor non, non-real person. Well, not, not poor. He would have made it all the way around the fucking world and then come back down. Apparently, SpaceX is in the near future-ish, sending like uh, paying people, like you can pay to take a trip around the moon or something like that. Tourists. I don't want fucking proper word right now. I'm sorry, this beer's affecting my brain. I believe I just want to say civilians. SpaceX plans to send civilians around the moon. How can to land? You're going to just get a hell of a trip. Oh, it's so much fun when fucking shit fucks up. When your GoPro decides to get too hot and shuts itself off. Ah, fuck! <sighs> Mildly annoying. God damn it. Oh, beer's trying to kill me. It's not a, uh, it's not a beer for, for, for weak ones. No. It's not even really like I might be a weak one because it's 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 too much. He's not gonna beat me, but it wants to. Ugh. On this date in 1976, 42 people died in the 1976 Kavali's cable car disaster. That's where it was. And that's what it looked like after the thing fell like 200 meters and then slid down a fucking slope and stuff. Yeah, mildly insane. And actually, I can end up, it's the worst cable car disaster that has ever happened. And one little girl actually survived. That would be a hell of a thing to live the rest of your life with. Like... Especially because it like, it must have fallen and like she must have been like surrounded by like dead and or dying people until people got there to rest. Like that's, 
the trauma. I can't even, I can't imagine that. I've never been through anything really, I got robbed by two guys with baseball bats when I worked at a convenience store a long, long time ago. And it was a little, like, it shook me up a little bit at the time, but I didn't need counseling or, they, but it wasn't, you know, I don't get PSTD, whatever the hell, like, yeah. That would be a crazy, crazy, crazy experience. Terrible experience. Kind of like the experience I'm... <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't want to say it's terrible, because it's not terrible. For what it is, I believe it's actually pretty damn well done. But what it is really isn't a style of beer that I have come to love just yet. I actually have another Belgian quad coming up relatively soon by Bose. So, and then actually, well, there's, there's a few Belgian beers coming. There's a, I have Delirium Tremens coming up too, which I believe is one of the, the more famous pink elephant type shit. You drink enough of it, you see the pink elephant or something. seeing something this stuff <sighs> yeah I'll be back in a moment because a moment is needed and we're back yeah sorry need the moment to let this this is not a beer that need that should be drank fast like you know, I don't know if you shotgun a beer where you take it and you poke a hole and then cover that hole and then crack the top and then suck it out of that hole and the whole beer just goes bleh into you. That'd be a really good way to kill yourself. Or like start the evening with that and then you're good for the evening probably because that would hit you right in the face like a sledgehammer. It's hitting me in the face like a, I don't know. Some kind of small hammer, and because I'm doing it slowly and stuff, it's strong beer. Really, really quite strong beer. Finally, on this date in 2011, Space Shell Discovery made its final landing after 39 flights. And I'm pretty sure that's when the space program in the states basically ended it's been it's been a while now since they've had a full-blown like there's SpaceX and stuff but it's not it's not the government I'm surprised that NASA was like I'm, I'm sure it's got to do with funding and stuff and the government's just taking away funding because uh, we don't need to explore space science is evil no it goes against the stupid fucking Bible and shit it's all currently on display at the, what the hell was it there? It is at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly, Virginia. So, if you're in that neck of the woods, then feel free to go and check it out or something. Because, I don't know, what, what are you doing? What's happening? What is happening? Why? I don't understand. Whatever. Okay, apparently, I forgot to add a my logo thing at the end of it like I usually do so I have to go back to it. that's acceptable aside from that this new gallery program what it, in Irfan Irfan view it's called I R F A N view it's free and it's a thousand times better than that stupid gallery HD program bullshit drink number the last oh Sweet little baby Jesus. Stack Brewing, your 4x4 Belgian quad rating. I think like a 7.5. Like I said, I, I, it, I'm not really a fan, but for what it is, I believe you you did a good job. Like I didn't hate it. It was It's a Belgian beer that didn't have really any of that overpowering yeastiness that I don't like. 
So yeah, well done on that beer. I can't, I can't really, really knock, knock it that hard. It was, it was decent. Not bad. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my views, and be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys can send me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. A peace out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's right. I am the most professional YouTuber on the entire website. I'm probably like halfway, really, when you come to think of it. There's way worse shit out there than me.